In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can create a smooth background transition in your WordPress website using the Elementor page builder. So instead of a normal background, we will make this smooth background transition when we scroll inside our page. And it gives your page a much better and modern look. So without any further ado, let's see how can we make that. Okay, to create this effect, first of all, we need to go to our dashboard and inside Elementor, we need to go to this custom code. From here, to create a new code snippet, click on this add new button and give it a name. And here, let's paste some code snippet. Okay, don't worry, you don't have to worry about this code snippet. I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description. So from here, you just need to copy and paste that code. So after that, let's click on this publish button and from here you can select where you want to implement that effect. So if you want to keep this for your entire website, you can do that and click on save and close. Okay, then after that, we also need to add an another code snippet. So click on add new again and name this one. And here paste another portion of code snippet. Okay. So here you need to also make this location to the end of the body tag and also as I am using some jQuery code so you also need to make sure to check this okay click on publish and keep it the same as the previous one click and save and close now if you go back to our page and refresh this and scroll down to our page we can see this smooth background transition is now working perfectly if we go down we can see that dark background for this section we can see the pink and we can see some other colors okay so here if we go to edit with elementor and if we open our this navigator here we can see these top level containers so here you need to make sure you have give the background color for only these top containers so you can see we have used this background color for this container for this container we have used this black color so instead of this if you use this background color for any of the inner container or any of the element inside that this background effect will be not working for that background color okay now if we go back to our this page and if we look closely so if we scroll down and when we arrived to our this section so for this section, we have set its background color to the yellow. We can see that from here. So when we arrived to that section, this yellow color is applied for our this whole body background. And like this, you can see when you go to this section, this black color is applied for this whole body background. But here you can see with this black background, our this top section doesn't look so good because this section is basically made for our this yellow background so that's why you have set the black color for this text and other elements but when it comes to that black background we cannot read that text properly so to solve this problem we need to create a black version of our this section so let's go to again here and what we need to do we need to click on this plus icon and create a new container and inside that we will paste our this whole container so from here let's just right click and copy and paste it inside that and we need to do that one more time so now inside this parent container we can see these two duplicated containers we can now delete our this original container and the first thing we need to do is we need to apply the same background color for our this container so let's copy the background color from this container and go to this parent container and we need to paste that color on here then we don't have to do anything with our this first container we directly go to our the second one and for this one i want to basically make it to the dark version like this one so we just need to copy the background color from here go to this container settings and from here copy this color and paste it to here okay now we need to also change the color of the content so with the white background we need to make it to white to see it properly also for this big heading this paragraph and also for this button and if you want you can also change the hover state for this dark version so go to here 
and I want to make that text color to black and this background color to the white. Perfect. So here one thing I again want to mention that we have applied the same background color from this section to our this section. So for this section if you have a transparent background color or doesn't have any color you also need to do the same thing for this container. So it's very important otherwise this effect doesn't work properly. Okay. So after doing all of these things, we need to go to again our this parent container and for this one, I want to make its width to the full width and we have also see some padding on the edges. So we also need to remove this, make it to zero and then I want to place our the second container at the same position of the first one. So go to this container settings and make its position to the absolute. Then lastly, to make it work, we need to do the final thing. So here from the navigator we can see this is our second container and this is the first one. So here go to the parent container and lastly we need to add this class sp-color and let's click on save. Okay now we can see it looks perfect when you go to the yellow section and also for this black now we can see the white version for our this section. So our issue now has been successfully solved. And now if we also scroll down, we can see we have also issue with our this section. We need to fix that. And with this section, this one is okay. We don't have to do anything. This one is also okay. This one also looks great. And this one has the issue. We also need to fix that. And everything is okay. So basically we can see with all of our this section, we don't have issues. For some of the section, we may have this kind of issues. So we need to fix that by using this way. Okay, now I want to fix the same thing for our this section so you can understand it more properly. Let's go again to our this section and do the same thing, create a new container and we need to copy this section and paste it inside that two times. Delete our this main section and inside that first of all I want to make the background color to the same of this one. So copy this background color, paste it to here and then directly go to the second section and I want to make its background color to the same of this one. So go to this section and from here let's just copy this and paste it to here. Okay. And we also need to change the text color. And here under this image, you can also see a border color. So we also need to make it to dark. And let's quickly design our other elements. Okay, after designing all of this, let's again go back to this parent container. And for this one, make it to the full width and also remove this padding. Then we need to position these two containers at the same place. So for the second one, I want to make its position to the absolute and go again to this parent container. And with this one, lastly add this class. Okay, now we can see we have also successfully created a light version for our this section. And if we also scroll down, so here we can see the pink background. And with this pink background, you can also notice that this text color also looks white. This is not too much noticeable because we can see a small portion during our scroll. But if you also want to fix this, you can also do that. So I just want to show you how we can do that. Again, go to this edit with Elementor. And here this one is this light version we have last created. So here we need to just duplicate this one. Okay, but uh, here we cannot see anything because of our this class. So I just want to temporarily remove this class from here and we can see that. Okay, now for our this third one, I want to make its background color to the same of this section, this pink background. Copy this and paste it to here for our this third container. And also again add our this class with this container. Now we can say we have this black version, this white version and also an additional pink version. So after that here we also need to fix our this section. So let's quickly do that. 
so we have also fixed our this section so we can see this white text color but here you can also see that we have also used an image inside this section which is okay for our this light version but with this dark version it looks really weird so for this what you can do you can create multiple versions of a same image to adjust this for the multiple background so we have also do that here for our this image instead of the black one we will use this white version which we have already made so insert this and if we save this now if we scroll we can see two different versions of this image okay so lastly here i also want to show you this for the tablet and mobile devices so for the tablet and mobile it will be automatically added so you don't have to do anything separately for the other devices so that's it for today if you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next video